three signs the narcissist is about to discard you. One, when your feelings towards them change. The narcissist sees themselves as the star of the show. And everyone else revolves around them. Everyone else exists to serve them. Everyone else is just their audience. And they live off people's reactions. You thought that you were building something significant with them. But it's really nothing more than a performance. And this performance is used to extract compliments and praise. It's used to extract attention and admiration. But when they know that you're no longer susceptible to their manipulation, they will remove themselves from your life. Because they assume that it's only a matter of time until you discard them or the lack of admiration is puncturing their inflated egos. When their act no longer intrigues you, they will remove themselves because they're just actors anyway. They're putting on a show. They're just there to entertain you. They're always looking at how you react to them. They're always looking to see if you're being entertained by their performance. And they notice when you're no longer amused by what they're doing. They know that if you're no longer reacting to them in the way that you used to, it's time for them to leave. So when they discard you, it's often because you're no longer amused by their performance or because you've learned something about them. And they want to avoid being rejected by you. Or they want to avoid being exposed. because they can tell that you're not reacting to them in the same way. They can tell that you've lost interest in them after everything they've done. Because you no longer compliment or praise them. You no longer admire or respect them. And they feel that. They notice that things have changed and it just doesn't fuel them anymore. So they can't remain around you for much longer. They have to find someone else who doesn't know what they're about. Someone who is more susceptible to their manipulation. As soon as they notice a change in your feelings towards them, that's when they have to get rid of you because they know you're eventually going to get rid of them. And they don't want to be around someone who doesn't buy into the illusion. They don't want to be around someone that they're not able to manipulate. And they want to be able to say that they discarded you rather than having to accept that you didn't want to deal with them because that would be a huge blow to their egos. They wouldn't be able to deal with that. They would rather have control of it. 
but after everything they did to you, they know that they have to go. They know that the time is up. When they devalue you. Sometimes the devaluation phase can last for a long time. But when it seems like they're just constantly looking for problems and blowing them out of proportion, they may just be looking for a reason or an excuse to discard you. Narcissists always have to find a way to justify what they do. They have to rationalize it somehow. So they will nitpick at everything you do. They will find faults. And they will make you feel like something is wrong with you. They will make you feel like they would be better off without you. When the narcissist is devaluing you, they are already grooming another source of supply. They are looking for someone to replace you. And when they found someone who is a suitable replacement, that's when they will discard you. Look for changes in their behavior. Maybe they're spending more time on their phones. Maybe they go out at a certain time because they're sizing up a potential target. They're thinking about replacing you. As soon as things go cold, that's when they're looking for someone else. Because the narcissist cannot live without constant attention and admiration. It fuels them. It makes them feel alive. And if they can't get it from you, they're going to get it from someone else. So when they start devaluing you, that is a sign that they are about to discard you. It suggests that their minds are elsewhere. They're focused on something else. If they see a better opportunity with someone else, they will leave. They're not loyal or devoted. Everything is temporary to a narcissist. It's not a relationship. It's just a transaction. And their currency is your attention and admiration. And when you're no longer willing to invest anything into them, that's when they're going to be looking for another suitable investor. Someone who they can deceive. Someone who thinks they've got a good deal. When they start to devalue you, it's only a matter of time until they idealize someone else. They see things in black and white, where a person is either all good or all bad. So if you're all bad, someone else has to be all good. Why would they remain around something they think is bad for them? Narcissists are only concerned with their own feelings and needs, and they will gravitate towards whatever they think is better for them. Three, when they give you the silent treatment, When the narcissist starts ignoring you, something else must be occupying their attention. Their minds have to be on something else. Because narcissists need fuel. They need narcissistic supply. 
this is something they cannot live without. So if they're not focusing on you, they're focusing on something else. They're getting their fuel from somewhere else. And that's how they're able to ignore you. That's how they're able to avoid talking to you for long periods of time. They cannot be alone with their own thoughts. It would drive them insane. So if they're not talking to you, they must be talking to someone else. There must be another person who has that attention. Otherwise they would come back to you very quickly. They wouldn't want to be without you. They're not going to cut off their own fuel supply if they don't have other alternatives. So if they're not getting attention from you, they must be getting it from someone else. When the narcissist gives you the silent treatment, it means that someone else is occupying their attention. They're grooming someone else to be their source of supply. which means that they're about to discard you. Because when a narcissist finds someone new, they want to invest all of their time and energy into that person. They don't want any distractions. When they've got someone else in their sights, that's all you are to them. You're just a distraction. You're just getting in the way. Which is why they will just go cold on you. You won't hear from them. Because they're busy pursuing something with someone else. When the narcissist is about to discard you, it will be as a result of your change of behavior, or you will notice a change in their behavior. They will start acting differently towards you. They won't make as much effort because they found a new project. They're investing their time into something else. But even when they start acting differently towards you, it's usually because you've seen through their act. You know that they're manipulating you, and they can sense it. They know that you don't view them the same way anymore, and it cuts off their fuel supply. It doesn't fuel them anymore. So they have to find someone else. They have to find someone who is more susceptible to their manipulation. That's the only way that they can sustain their false self. So when you see through the illusion and you no longer admire or respect the narcissist, they're about to discard you. Because no matter how you feel about them, the show must go on. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonates with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coach inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.